Hello everyone, this is Paul from Dintec. In this tutorial we're going to be doing the termination of a Dintec Category 6 UTP solid core cable onto a CAT6 toolless UTP jack. Now the advantages of using the toolless jacks are of course if you don't have the termination tools to hand uh, could be the um, one crimp and cut uh, easy tools or the 110 tools but without those you can use these to do a toolless termination. So what we're going to need for this is our CAT6 UTB cable. We'll be using the toolless jack here which comes also with a cable guide to keep the wires in place in their correct configuration. We will need strippers to strip the cable with and some cutters as well to cut off the spare wire that comes off the cable guides. Right, so the first thing to do is to strip back the sheath. Now I'm going to use the Dintec UTP strippers and I've set the cutting blade just deep enough so it's just going to score into the sheath without going through and cutting into the wires underneath. I'm going to take off about 50 mils and I'm just going to turn it round once. By doing that I'm just scoring the sheath and that should just break away. That means that we won't have actually cut through and damaged the wires underneath. Right so after I've done that I'll just separate those wires out. That exposes the central spacing piece there and the cutting cloth. I'm going to use our cutters cut those out I'm ready to put it inside the cable guide so inside the bag for the jack there will be a instruction sheet okay it comes with its own instruction sheet comes with a cable guide that's where we can put our wires into their correct configurations whether it's T568A or T568B termination that we're going to be doing. Today I'm going to be doing a T568B termination which means that we're going to be putting our orange to the front on this side, our brown to the front on that side, green to the back here and blue to the back on this side. So I'll take my orange and brown first. I'm going to feed those in underneath this spacer that sits in the middle of the cable guide. I'll bring those up right up to the front there. Just holding it in place, I'm now going to put the wires down over the cable guides. Right, so we want orange to the front and white orange at the back. Just gently open up the twists and put those into place there. And on the other side, we've got brown at the front and white brown at the back. And we come to the back of the cable guide. So we've got blue on this side. So it'll be white blue first, and then at the back we'll have blue white. So I'm just going to undo that slightly. And then on this side we've got green that's forward and white green at the back. Just lay those wires so that they 
sit in place and pull it down like that. So I'm ready now to cut those off level with the cutters, just making sure that we've got our twists. You can see here that our twists coming right up to our termination points. As I'm cutting these wires off, I'm actually pulling the cutters down at the same time. That just helps to keep the wires inside the cable guide. Okay, so that's now ready to place inside the jack. I take the jack, open it up, turn this upside down and just place it in gently so that it seats itself onto the insulation displacement terminals. Then I take the cover, place it down and just press it into place. Once the back piece locks into place down here we know that it will have pressed the wires down over the IDC's they would have split through the insulation and they'll be now terminated to the copper wires. Uh, we should have no exposed wires out the back so when we're putting this in we make sure that our sheath goes all the way in as far as possible that just keeps all of our twists as much lined up as possible. Okay, so that is the termination of a Dintec Category 6 solid core UTP cable onto the Dintec Toolless Cat 6 jack.